Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and the red circuits have just arrived as you can see and that was very strange. I have night vision on but it was like not working properly or something. I don't know. Anyway let's go and follow along and see how if we need to rebalance stuff and what needs to go on here uh, because that's going to be very very important. Now this is our red circuit um, assembly area and I think it's time to take it down. I think we can we're not producing that much here. We've got well let's let's count one two three times one two three four five six seven eight nine times three is twenty seven times two I think is fifty four. So we've got fifty four there. Let me write that down on my calculator. And up here we have several We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six times one. Whoopsies. Oh, save. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, and sixteen times six is more than fifty-four. It is ninety-six, right? 16 times 6. Yeah, it's 96. All right, so I think we can just tear this down. And that'll be just fine because a lot of stuff is not even reaching the end of the bus here. Totally not useful useful at all. Totally not worth worth it. Uh, so we'll just take these down, recycle all the machines, uh, and get this kind of out of the way. And I don't think we're actually going to need our plastic here at all. Um, what else do we need plastic for? Let's see. Plastic is primarily used in red circuits. What else? Anything else uses plastic? I wish I had the, what is it used for? That, that could be a really good, oh, hey, it's good for rocket control units. Okay. Now that's something interesting. Alternatively, um, what we could do with our oil refinery, oh, and I need to make a path to the oil refinery. That would be nice. Um, is look at this we have all of this um petroleum millions and millions of gallons of petroleum right now um wow look at the coal oh that's not great definitely not great uh but uh what we could do is make like solid fuel out of it i think uh for the rocket this whole production could be for solid fuel um, or batteries. We still need batteries here. I think, is it for science or is it for, ro I think it's for science and robots basically, which science needs them. Is it? No, not this one anymore. I know one of them needs it. Aha. It's high tech that wants batteries, which makes sense in a way. So, Hmm. Alternatively, of course, we could have batteries made at another outpost. We can have everything made at outposts if we wanted to. Right, so what are we short on for this science? Short on... We've got blue. Where's the blue? Hey, blue, what's wrong with you? You need engine units. Why don't you have engines? Where are the engines? Where are these engines made? Oh, that's inconvenient. Somehow we have no power. Right. So these guys are needing gears. And pipes were also out of commission. Oh my gosh. So Blue Science has not been operating for however long this has been disconnected. And I, Oh, that must have been disconnected maybe when I took this science array down. That could have been it. Um, hmm, that's unfortunate. We should put some more like redundant connections there. Okay, so that solves that little quandary. Of course, this science array is quite pitiful. I need to increase all of this stuff, but I really kind of want to do a beacon design. I kind of decide, I designed this with like, you know, one item per second in mind, one, one science per second, but I think we really are going to need more than that, especially when it comes to infinite research. Okay, let's get rid of these things. Finish taking the reds off the bus and complete the line. Okay take that off and this is just going to be this whoa Fernanda space just not great plastic go away stuff I don't want all of this stuff right um 
Yeah, you can have that as well. And assembly machines. I don't need nearly that many assembly machines. All right, let me delete this blueprint. Don't need that. Put that one back on the belt. Um, hmm. Man, I wish we had more quick bar hot slot or quick quick bar hot slots. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. Hot bar quick slots? I don't know. It's okay. It, it's dyslexia for you. Today happens to be a particularly bad day for that. <clears throat> so that's okay. All right. Now, we have plastic, but we don't need it. That's going to stop there. In reality, I can replace this plastic line with another of, of red circuits. That that opens up a lot of possibility for that, um, which is nice. In fact, I could put even four, four whole lines of red circuits on this if I really wanted to. Okay, go with this, please. And this goes there. And we're going to figure out now what else we're missing. Right. That's going to go this way. Okay. No need to disrupt the whole course of things. Okay. So now what are we short of? We're just short of uh, machines. Look at this. Guys, hey, look, look, look. Nice. These are all the module factories working like a boss. This is awesome. Very, very awesome. And we have a few of these speed modules in here as well. I think... Um, did I not fix this? <gasps> I didn't fix it? Oh, no. Well, shoot. I know several people reminded me a few episodes ago that... Um, and I was aware of this, I just didn't go and change it, that basically speed module threes, of course, now require five, five of um, the previous ones. And so basically they needed to be changed into an array that's similar to this. Um, so I think it's probably time to do that. Right. Um, <laughs> let me then copy paste and we'll get this underway. So let's copy this. Uh, well, I'll copy one in the middle because it's going to have all of the belts that we need. Copy. Thank you. Right. And I want to disconnect these uh, the lines real quick. And I want these guys to use up a few of the materials and whatnot. And how are these guys wired? For every... Oh, I use the everything command. How nice. So I don't have to be like specifically targeting anything particular. That's really nice. Right. Let's just wait for those to chug away at this. In the meantime, I can actually place down this blueprint over here. There we go. And I don't know why I did this. That was really silly of me. There we go. I did that to connect one of the radars down south. Two and three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make eight of these for now. And of course, we'll see how our throughput suffers along with that. Right, so these guys are pretty much done, aren't they? Uh, these are all kind of... Let's just get rid of these guys. Ah, we'll take them all out. We're good. We'll, we're taking them all out. They're, it's fine. So it'll be fine. Right. And I would like to add this power pole there to there. So we don't have these kind of brownouts. It's very inconvenient. Now, this is going to be our thing right here. But before we get it going, I want to change, of course, the, the recipes to be speed modules Oopsies. No. They're going to be here. Speed two. And threes. Okay. And we're going to have our... Yeah, I think that's enough. All right. So let's copy this again. And we're going to have basically eight of these. Just like down below. Oopsie. Oh, these darn power poles are in the way. This is also going to be in a way, in the way, I think. So we may have to add that back. Oh, whoops. Okay, 
There we are. We'll have to figure out where our robo range extends to because I'm sure we'll need stuff from the base. And we also need these crates covered by the base as well, the base robo ports. Um, we need our robo ports. Oh yes, here we are. Um, yeah, these are none of these are covered. So that needs to be fixed immediately. Right? There we go. Very important um, that these, all of the boxes are covered in the, the orange logistics zone. Um, if you're new to the game, that's the range at which the roboports can pick up from crates and stuff like that, from chests. Um, the green is the construction zone. So we can construct, but we do need to have those, um, the chests in the construction range or the logistics range in order for the robots to pick stuff out of them and, and deliver them elsewhere. Um, I, there's every now and again, oh, there's one robot flying away with stuff they, they found in a chest somewhere. So that's all good. Okay. We have now run out of blue circuits. <laughs> I wonder what's coming next. It could be a blue circuits outpost. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looks like red circuits are swimming along just beautifully out here. This is really nice. Any more weird thingity things? No, seems to be okay-ish. I think we're just getting a little bit of blipping from, you know, stuff from up above the line. So yeah, now we're a little bit short on greens. Now, what is going on with the greens? Here we need a half belt. This needs to be a full belt, period, full stop. Need to have a full belt there. However, this can, I'm gonna split this back to here. Um, and I think what we wanna do with this is just basically create a, um, a balancer here. So we need eight times four is 32, right? There we go, that should be enough. And where did the balancer go? I forgot. Dear me. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to have the full lane going in here for, for blue circuits. And that's going to be just perfect. Right, guys? You guys are happy about this? Now, what I really need to do is put productivity modules in these guys here. So what I want to do is grab... Oh, there is one in there. Oh, I need to steal one from somewhere else. You know what I'll do? I'll steal it from the making area. Let me take out my... Okay, who's finishing next? I'll just go on this one. Okay, they're almost done, sort of. How are you? Are you almost done? You're close to almost done. I think this one is closer to done. All right, I'm going to steal it as soon as it arrives in the chest. I'm going to steal that one thing. There we go. Haha, -ha, I have stolen it. Haha. -ha. And the bots from the network are surprised when they arrive and don't find it there. Um, right. Let's get our Oh god, no. No, 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 no. I need <gasps> What? Is this new? Oh, wait, no, no, it changed the recipe. Ah, uh, okay, I did, I, I boo-booed that one. Right, okay, so I actually need two more. <laughs> I need two more modules. <clears throat> because those take a huge amount of stuff. You finished. You are almost finished also. Need two more modules. Come on, come on these and that one thank you very much and the reason for this is so that we can um, blueprint this this machine with four modules in it so let's just grab this with the modules yes thank you and we're going to want to get rid of all of these other machines basically can you fix come on Robots, please. Please fix. Robots, really? <laughs> Can you put this down? Urgh. Okay. 
And what we're going to do is just copy this, this area here. And actually, I think what I should do is I should blueprint this, this thing here. We're just going to call this blue circuits uh, moduled. And I will add that to <clears throat> the perfection of the blueprint books. Oh, what do we want to call this? This is, we'll just, we'll just call it this one. Blue circuits. It's nice and simple. But yeah, this is kind of what we want to go for. <clears throat> and I wish that you could add modules after the fact. There's a wonderful mod called Module Inserter that I, I use often on my Vanilla Plus games or modded ones. And basically it allows you to insert modules without having to deconstruct all of this stuff, which I think is absolutely silly that you have to do this. And I'm not sure why that isn't part of the base game because it's just like busy work. I, I think of that as like this, this sort of thing, replacing all this stuff is just why, why are we doing this? So anyway, but just to be aware that that exists and it's a fun, fun thing to do, fun thing to have. Uh, get rid of that. Oh God, all this misclicked. Get out. No, I don't want you there. Okay. Right. Much better. Okay. So anyway, now, as soon as these guys get, you know, as soon as more modules get made, these guys can use them. They use so much product that it's definitely worth moduling them. These are, you know, each of these is 10%. So this is 40% extra modules. I mean, it does slow the speed, um, but that's what speed beacons are for. <laughs> so we'll get to those in a bit. Um, but yeah, you can have very long chains of these because of the, the slower speed and stuff like that. Um, so, all right. So that's that. Um, what else? Oh, I should put this in my blueprint book. Did I add it? I don't think I added it yet. Right. <laughs> That'll remind me to add it um, into like mid-game blueprints, I think. So yeah, our, our modules have slowed down a little bit and that's just because of blue circuits. Now what's going on with these? Is it just a lack of greens toward the end? Is that what's happening? Looks like these are all being taken. Yeah, it, it wouldn't do any good to extend this line at all because uh, basically just don't have enough green circuits. Um, yeah, reds are going to the end of the line. That's not the problem. I could, ooh, I know what I could do. I could divert another entire line though. Hey, Breaking Force, how you doing? Um, okay, fine. Is this an infinite one? Please don't be infinite. Ugh. It's not useful. <laughs> it's just not useful. All right, uh, dee 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 dee. I can put them this way, I think. I can go here and run this line along that way to make like a temporary more circuits. We could do that. Uh, let's take this this way. Oops, that doesn't work there. So we'll just do it the typical way. I think what I'll do is just take this line off. There we go, like this. And then this guy, what's going to happen here is that we're just going to have two lines feeding into this one. I don't even want to do extra splitters because it's just going to be confusing. So we know how this is going to go, basically. Right. So where this line gets really sparse is where I want to add this in. Something like here, maybe. Um, let's go here, two, three. Can I add that there? I could do it there. It's probably better. And then this one, oh, it will function. How nice, it'll just take the greens off. That's fine. And that'll allow us to extend the entire line a little bit. Oh my god, so many circuits. Shoot. <laughs> oh my god, so many circuits. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't want this one. Go away, that. I don't care about that anymore. So, we just want to extend this as far as 
reasonably we can. Yeah. Okay, come on, bots. You can you can put stuff down. Why do, are they like not using stuff from my inventory? I have. Oh, I know why. Yeah, that would help. <clears throat> Pardon me. Never mind. Uh, some days are just derpy. That's all. Just a derpy day. Okay, it looks like these guys are grabbing up these things. Just checking if it's going to back up at all. Well, we could maybe do another pair, or is that enough? I think that's probably enough. Especially since this line isn't carrying any greens at all. Okay, it is backing up just a little bit. Ah, no, it's not. Okay, so that I think that's just fine. These guys are getting... Oh, they're obviously getting sulfuric acid because they are functioning. Uh, let's see. I probably could move this halfway point to here, um, probably. Go like this. Okay, so we have a little bit more production. Not a lot, but a little. At least we have one machine <laughs> trundling along, building these circuits beautifully. Um, right, so how are we doing on modules? Hey, I'll take that. Thank you. Um, and let me take out these guys again. Oh, another one. Yes, precious modules. Precious, precious. And these guys, I uh, don't have them because there are no blue circuits. The meow is real. They are meowing very severely. Okay, nice. Okay, and I will clonk those in to the first available machine. Oh, I have some... I have some intermediate modules. That's from deconstructing stuff. Right, so let's put our roboports back on. Let me go place these guys where they belong as well. Speed module twos. That's very tasty. Oh, I'll take that thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the back. No. Right. So you guys can have those, please. Thank you. Um, I now have... Oh, we need these guys to be distributed as well. I'm, like, watching them. All the little arms of conveyors are, like... Every time they flip, it's like, oh, they're going to make a new one. Well, this one's going to happen soon. I want to put in a couple of speed modules into a beacon just to speed up like these two machines here. Speed beacon, where are you? Uh, I have one. It would be in endgame. No, it wouldn't. Apparently not. Oh, endgame beacon. That's what I wanted. Should be just a beacon with speed modules. Yeah. This looks like a perfect spot. Do I need my bots? No, I don't need my bots. I need the beacon to be placed down. Come on, guys. Place this beacon. Do I have one? There we go. Nice. Boom. Done. So now they're a little bit faster than before. And that's even better because they'll continue to get the materials and, you know, it's at the very front of the line. So it'll get the materials first, which is nice. Very, very nice. Right. So I could steal some more speed modules. Should we steal some more? <laughs> I'm like, pill for them now. Mm. Oh, there's one. Howdy. I just need one more. Are you almost done? No. Oh, there's one. Aha. Precious speed modules. Yay. All right. Let's go and put that beacon back in. The beacon. Does that one reach that one? It does. Look at that. Fantastic. So we'll just wait for the robots to deliver this beacon. And then we'll have another speed thing affecting this guy. And this one will now be faster than all those other ones. So that's awesome. Get rid of the triangle because the robots do not need to put stuff there. Uh, there we go. I wonder why that triangle doesn't automatically disappear. So now it's at plus 40% speed. This is fantastic. This is really good now. 
and it's making 40% more blue chips than these other machines. This is so good. This is really good. So anyway, soon we'll be able to, to kind of cut this down. And as we're gaining in all of these things, we're, we're gaining and gaining and gaining by making all the modules and stuff. Ooh, there's another, another one of these. And I can still put these silly robots back in. But yeah, we're getting further ahead as we go along. I know it seems like very slow progress, but we are building kind of a mega base. It's, it's, it's a bit big at this point, you know. It's not a tiny base anymore. It's, um, it's quite big. It's lovely and it's big. We like things. Yeah, nice. So yeah, now we're making even more of those things. So um, let's look at, is there anything else we need to... Ah, yes, there's all these modules. For some reason, we need modules. I don't know why. Um, are these guys getting put in at all? There's a couple of speed modules up here. But yeah, we're getting further ahead. Let's see, what have we got here? We're at 1k productivity and 742 speed. Um, but those numbers are going to go down really fast, I think. Oh, what's going on with turrets? Oh, yeah, well. Those biters don't stand a chance, those poor things. I mean, they get here and they, they don't even make it to the wall. They just like, they're stopped at the dragon's teeth um, with, with the pathing and stuff. And, you know, the lasers take them out well within range. So, yeah. Oh, well, they're going to have to try harder. That's all I can say about it. Anyway, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.